Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored to address the 75th session of the General Assembly under the agenda sub-item cooperation between the United Nations and the Preparatory Commission for the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty Organization. Allow me to thank the President for convening today's meeting. I would also like to express my appreciation to the Secretary General for his report on cooperation between the United Nations and regional and other organizations. The circumstances surrounding COVID-19 prevent me from addressing the plenary in person. However, I'm grateful for the opportunity to address the Assembly virtually. On advancing peace and prosperity through multilateral cooperation, these are troubled times. The spread of COVID-19 is accelerating at an alarming pace. My heartfelt sympathies and condolences are with those affected by this terrible disease. COVID-19 has shaken the world and forever changed the way we think about global health risks. It has thrown our world into disarray. But the international community was already troubled by sharp divisions and rising geopolitical tensions. Collective measures to enhance human security and promote sustainable development have become more and more crucial. Yet, adopting and implementing such measures has become more and more difficult. What were once localized challenges are becoming increasingly transboundary in nature and potential spillover consequences can impact the global community as a whole. Advanced technologies are rapidly spreading around the world and with them their inherent security risks. We have witnessed the effect of climate change on the severity and frequency of natural disasters. Terrorism and other forms of political violence threaten peace and development in many parts of the world. And weapons of mass destruction continue to be the greatest immediate threat to humanity in both scale and consequence. We cannot pursue narrow self-interest and expect to build a better future for the next generation. Seeking multilateral solutions to 21st century challenges remain the only viable approach. Kofi Annan once said, more than ever before in humanity history, we share a common destiny. We can master it only if we face it together. And that is why we have the United Nations. These words could not be truer as we observe the scope and complexity of the challenges facing the world today. And it is why we need the United Nations more than ever to help advance peace and prosperity through multilateral cooperation. Reducing nuclear threats through cooperative disarmament non-proliferation and arms control measures remains an urgent priority. Finishing the unfinished business of the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty, CTBT, is a crucial part of these efforts. Now, in cooperation between the CTBTO and the United Nations, the Preparatory Commission for the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty Organization and the United Nations have a strong record of partnering together to promote nuclear disarmament and non-proliferation. This cooperative relationship has succeeded in advancing the treaty entry into force and universalization. While yet to enter into force, the CTBTO and the United Nations have effectively collaborated to build support for the treaty and its verification regime. We have solidified the, CTB, the de facto norm against nuclear testing. 
we are nearing completion of the most far-reaching monitoring system ever designed. And this system has already proven capable of carrying out its verification requirement under the treaty. With the support of our member states, the United Nations and other partners around the world, these capabilities continue to improve. By promoting training and education in the field of nuclear disarmament and non-proliferation, the CTBTO also continues to work for the employment of the next generation. In this effort, we are particularly focused on women and those in the developing world building capacity in all areas related to the CTBT ensures the treaty's continued viability and contribute to our shared objective of a world free of nuclear weapons. In this light, the CTBTO youth group remains engaged and energized. Nearly 1,000 members are actively advocating on behalf of the treaty and its verification regime. And these activities complement the efforts of member states and other partners to advance the treaties entry into force and universalization. The United Nations remain a key partner in these and other initiatives aimed at reinforcing the CTBT and bringing us closer to its entry into force. For example, the Secretary General's Azanda for disarmament include an appeal to all states whose ratification are required for its entry into force to commit to sign and ratify the treaty at an early date. Importantly, the Secretary General notes that the states whose ratifications are required for the treaty to enter into force have a special responsibility to lead without waiting for any other state. These activities and initiatives support the implementation of the agreement regulating the relationship between the United Nations and the CTBTO. In working jointly to achieve our common objectives, we must redouble our effort in these areas. Now, on the CTBTO as a mature, competent and effective organization, in addition to the tragic consequences of COVID-19 for people all over the world, its emergence also resulted in an unforeseen stress test for the organization. However, we assessed the circumstances and responded quickly with measures to ensure business continuity. Teleworking arrangements were implemented on short notice and with high performance efficiency. Critical user groups were identified and provided with the necessary tools and support to establish and sustain remote connectivity and communication. We have continued to refine and enhance these tools in the face of the ongoing pandemic. We have reviewed and updated our business continuity plan, improving our readiness to respond to unpredictable circumstances. This experience has reinforced our confidence in the ability to keep the organization and its verification regime functioning at a high level, even under conditions of severe duress. We have already demonstrated countless, in countless occasions that the organization and its verification regime has reached a high level of operational readiness. And our Ongoing response to COVID-19 further underlines the CTBTO is as a mature, competent, and effective organization. So, we are ready for the world. With every new signature and ratification, with every new station built, and with every additional voice of support for the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty, in international forums, it is increasingly clear that the world is also ready for us. Now on bridge building, the final point I would like to make today is that we need to reorient ourselves towards being more effective 
bridge builders. National interests will always inform a country's policy choices and preferences. But there must be room for negotiation and compromise in the pursuit of common goals. In fact, it is a necessity if we are to succeed in addressing shared threats. Various approaches to nuclear disarmament and non-proliferation have been advanced throughout the years. Some garner wide or even universal support, while others either stall or are rendered ineffective. One such initiative that has been a consistent matter of contention in many multilateral forums achieved a significant success this year. The Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons. With the deposit of the 50th ratification last month, the treaty will now enter into force in January 2021. The ultimate, apex, in, the ultimate impact or efficacy of the TPNW is yet to be determined. But it is without doubt that its emergence demonstrates the passion and determination of those countries advocating for a world free of nuclear weapons. It has also succeeded in elevating and broadening the discussion on nuclear weapons to a point not seen in years. They are both encouraging signs, and it is my hope that the renewed focus on nuclear threats will provide space for progress on the comprehensive nuclear test ban treaty. Verifiably putting an end to nuclear explosion remains a near universal objective. With your support, we have put in place the tools and techniques to do just that. We are demonstrating the value of monitoring data and technologies in countless civil and scientific applications. Many of these directly support the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. What I ask of you, the Member State of the United Nations, is to focus on our mutually shared goal of a legally binding, verifiable end to nuclear testing. This is a crucial step in the path towards a nuclear weapon free world. And it will reinforce the essential role of multilateralism in advancing international peace and security. I thank you.